You've mastered every technique for increasing plant and animal variety in your garden. You keep your soil healthy by adding compost full of beneficial bacteria, and you produce colorful, fragrant flowers for pollinators. Yet wildflowers, the garden's unsung heroes, could be something you're missing out on. Here are the top seven wildflowers that will fill your yard with beauty. Number one, butterfly weed. This butterfly's host plant is a wildflower found in prairies and grasslands from the northeast to the southwest. Hence, the butterfly's eponymous weed is crucial to the survival of the species. Although it takes up to three years for blossoms to appear, butterfly weed is worth the wait because of its beautiful orange-yellow blooms. It is not just butterflies, but hummingbirds and bees who are drawn to this plant. Butterfly weed can be planted from zone three to nine. Number two, Indian blanket. In the southern and central United States, Indian blanket brings a splash of fiery orange and sunny yellow to gardens. Because of its coloration, another name for it is fire wheel. This plant can survive in a variety of harsh environments, including stony plains, prairies, and even drought. The seed heads are consumed by birds, while the nectar is a favorite of bees and butterflies. Indian blankets may often only be grown in zones two through 11. Number three, red columbine. The red columbine is an unusual type of buttercup with yellow centers and scarlet petals that point downward. It looks like the flowers are hunching over in shame. The hummingbird's tubular form is well suited to its sharp beak. If you have a shady area in your garden in the spring, this flower, often called wild honeysuckle, will bring a welcome burst of color. They can survive in climates from zone three to eight. Number four, California poppy. This poppy is an excellent choice for the state flower of California. Its cup-shaped bright orange and yellow flowers are among the earliest to appear, sometimes in the coldest months of the year. Despite California's claim to ownership, the plant has a wide distribution, reaching from the Great Basin to the southern tip of Washington state and east to Utah. Zones eight to 10 are ideal for growing California poppies. Number five, blue flax. Blue flax is an explosion of beautiful sky blue blooms on lanky, wiry stems. It can go up to two feet in height and has a wild, unruly look. Because of this, plus the fact that it spreads easily, it makes for a wonderful choice of ground cover in meadows and on slopes. The satiny flowers bloom from late spring to midsummer, but only when exposed to direct sunlight. Growing blue flax is best done in zones five to nine. Number six, black-eyed Susan. In the eastern portion of the United States, black-eyed Susans represent the archetypal wildflower. Its yellow petals and black centers make them look like sunflowers, although they are much smaller and genetically unrelated to their larger counterparts. The bright yellow blossoms brighten up the garden far into the fall. In zones three through nine, black-eyed Susans can survive. Number seven, evening primrose. This wildflower's oil is often used in cosmetics, so you might recognize it. You could even grow your own evening primrose in the garden and make your own. Between May and July, it blooms throughout the Midwest and into the South, but only when the sun goes down. Nighttime is prime time for the evening primrose, yet its bright, lemony aroma is welcome at any time of day. They do best in climate zones three to nine. Number eight, Mexican hat. The Mexican hat flower, also known as upright prairie cone flower, gets its name from its resemblance to a sombrero. 
open from midsummer to late autumn. Its distribution reaches from northernmost North Dakota to southernmost Texas and everywhere in between. The flower's foliage emits an odor that drives away animals, but also draws in a plethora of pollinators. They thrive in zones three through nine. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.